on Lee Tien Si's final moments, we see her being held back by film strips. She couldn't move forward, no matter how hard she struggles. I think this imagery symbolizes that she will never be able to escape death. And then, those film strips that are blinding her eyes most likely implies that she will never be able to see beyond her time. Just like Tung Xiao Xiu. His film strips are somewhat loosened though, and it's likely because of Lu Kuang's interference. Perhaps it's implying that he isn't tied to death. Not yet, at least. It's because he still hasn't completely escaped death, since death is still lingering on him. His eyes are covered by film strips too, as he also cannot see what's ahead of him, no matter how hard he tries. And that's because Teng Xiaoxu has no future. But thanks to Lu Kuang, our precious one is still very alive. For now. Season 1 had tormented fans for around 2 years with the cliffhanger teasing the possibility of Lu Kuang dying. Season 2, on the other hand, had tormented fans once again, but this time with the thoughts of how Tung Xiaoxu had died in the past. More than once. Of course, there are a lot of theories and speculations about it from the fans. I guess that is something you can expect from a Link Click fan. <laughs> Naturally, I also can't help but overthink about this. <laughs> but before we continue, please be warned that if you are uncomfortable with sensitive topics like death and self-harm, then I don't recommend that you continue watching this video. Much more if you are a Tung Xiaoxu fan. Although, as a Link Click fan, you're most likely already used to trauma anyway. <laughs> I believe that the Link Click series itself triggers more emotional damage than this video ever would. <laughs> so, you're going to be just fine. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, let the pain start. This bloody scene implies that Teng Xiaoxu has suffered from a fatal wound and died in Lu Kuang's arms. He didn't die immediately, as he still had some strength to say that name. If he had any last words other than that, we don't know yet. But just hearing him say Lu Kuang's name really hurts. But how exactly did he die? Well... It's probably from something quick, like a gunshot. He didn't die on this scene because he wasn't shot in a critical area. But the sight of him getting shot already turned Lu Kong into a madman. Maybe Lu Kong went crazy because he was seeing Teng Xiaoxu get shot once again. Or perhaps Teng Xiaoxu might have died in a similar manner. So another possibility is that he was stabbed, similar to how Lu Kuang got stabbed. But unlike Lu Kuang, Teng Xiaoxu had not been fortunate enough to stay alive till an ambulance arrives. Or were they actually in a place where an ambulance can go to in the first place? There had been a theory of Tung Xiaoxu dying outside his home. It could have been during their overseas trip or even in a place like a forest. After all, there's a glimpse of a forest in this scene. But I think that forest is more like some imagery or symbolism related to time travel. You know, like that void where Tung Xiaoxu is on moments like when he gets forced out of the past. Anyway, I think it's more probable that Teng Xiaoxu had died in his own house or somewhere nearby. It's mainly because of this scene wherein Lu Kuang's clothes are still stained with Teng Xiaoxu's blood. It will be strange for Lu Kuang to be in a faraway place than go home just to do that, right? It would make more sense if he just came from downstairs before this tragedy happened. But when exactly did it happen? 
There is no exact date of when Tseng Xiaoxi died. Well, not yet at least. The only clue that we have that is related to it is on Lu Kuang's watch before he dived. If he dived into time to rescue Tseng Xiaoxi at 12.05 a.m. on September 13, then it only means that Tseng Xiaoxi's last moments were sometime before that date. Moreover, because of what they are wearing in this scene, it strongly implies that it had happened during season 1's period, or not long before the date of season 1's first episode at least. So this means the Tseng Xiaoxi in season 2 is the one who managed to live a little longer, simply because he had a costume change. <laughs> but regardless of when it happened, I think what's most important is to understand why it happened. You know, maybe Tseng Xiaoxi had died from just an accident. But for a thriller series, that would make things less interesting. <laughs> so it's more probable that he died to protect someone, like what he did for Tiao Ling. He could have done it for Lu Kuang, or even for a complete stranger. After all, he's a superhero. He is absolutely the type who will sacrifice himself to save the world. I love and hate that about him at the same time. <laughs> but wait, it's also possible that he might have been murdered. Assuming Tseng Xiaoxi was killed, that's actually a little hard to believe since... Who on earth would want to do that? He's so kind and good-natured, literally an angel. No matter how mischievous he is, he's too lovable to be seriously hated. Well, unless he was a psycho's victim. Or maybe he was on some mission, like stopping a serial killer. After all, Tseng Xiaoxi's power is something you will normally see in a crime thriller. Remember the time when Captain Xiao learned about Tseng Xiaoxi's supernatural ability? He finds it very helpful in solving crimes. And we know that Tseng Xiaoxi would happily volunteer for stuff like that in a heartbeat, no matter how dangerous it is. In fact, he almost did. But fortunately... Lu Kuang and Tiao Ling were there to protect him. Although, he still ended up doing it in the end. But anyway, whether Tseng Xiaoxi had died in the hands of a criminal or not, I think the reason of his death has something to do with Lu Kuang. Yeah, it could have been Lu Kuang's fault. You see, there is a theory which states that Tseng Xiaoxi was supposed to have died in this moment, but Lu Kuang had taken his place and was stabbed instead. Lu Kuang did say that deaths are nodes that cannot be changed, so someone may have died to replace whoever was supposed to die originally. So I think it's possible that it was the other way around in the original timeline. With that, someone else was the one who was supposed to die, most likely Lu Kuang. But Tseng Xiaoxi had sacrificed himself to save him. These boys are so willing to die for each other, oh my god. God, it hurts. Ah, actually, there's another theory. I absolutely hate it though, but I'll try to share it anyway. So, there is a theory which states that the one who did this to Tseng Xiaoxi is... 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 Uh, it's hard to say. <clears throat> so... The person who might have done this to Tseng Xiaoxi all along is... Is Lu... <sighs> no, it cannot be Lu Kuang. Tseng Xiaoxi is family to him. Maybe he will get accused of it, similar to what happened to Tseng Xiaoxi. But he will never, ever even be capable of doing it. Uh... I know that it's possible that he might have gotten possessed, like with what happened to Tiao Ling, but, but, I don't care. I refuse to accept it. I know I'm crazy enough to torment myself with depressing theories, but I have my limits. Well, 
Whoever did this to Tung Xiaoxi, I believe that Lu Kuang himself thinks that it was all his fault. Yes, he's blaming himself for everything, similar to how Tung Xiaoxi had been blaming himself when Lu Kuang was kidnapped. Oh, please, stop blaming yourselves. But anyway, aside from Lu Kuang's undying love and devotion to his best friend, I think it is actually the guilt that is making him go through such lengths in order to set things right. I have a feeling that Teng Xiaoxi didn't die in the present time. I mean, um, before I elaborate on that, when Teng Xiaoxi dives into the past and possesses the photographer, his health and strength are applied to the one he is controlling, right? But what if it's also applicable the other way around? He can bring stuff with him if he dives as himself through surveillance cameras, right? Then it might be similar with his health. He must have been in a dangerous situation in his dive. Maybe it even involved Emma. So if he gets hurt, whether as himself or as the one he controlled, he will still be injured by the time he returns. Or maybe he wasn't able to return at all. He might have been trapped in some space, maybe still in a dying state, but not yet dead. After all, it wasn't explicitly mentioned nor shown that Teng Xiaoxi had died in this scene. Usually, a character dead is still unconfirmed until a corpse is shown, right? So perhaps Lu Kuang was saving him from something else other than death. So he needs to change a time node in order to free Teng Xiaoxi from that space. Or maybe that's just my wishful thinking. <laughs> in any case, whether Teng Xiaoxi really died on the original timeline or not, the fact remains that Lu Kuang has been breaking his own rules and is wrecking timelines just to save one man more than once. At the end of the second season, Lu Kuang was saying that it's already his last chance to rescue Tong Xiaoxi. But how many chances did he actually have? With so little information at present, that's really hard to tell. But maybe it's as many as the Tong Xiaoxi's that we see in this scene. Or maybe as many as the photographs with Tong Xiaoxi that was seen in the first opening team. Or in the second opening team. Or maybe as many as Lu Kuang's hair strands. That theory is quite popular, but also very heartbreaking. It was speculated that Tiao Ling might have inherited Tianxi's powers in this scene. While Lu Kuang might have inherited Zheng Xiaoxi's powers in the same manner too. However, as some sort of consequence... Using a power that is not their own will make their hair strand white. I did a quick research and apparently an average person has about a hundred thousand hair strands on their head. And it could be more. So with Lu Kuang's hair being completely white by now, it means that, oh my god, hundreds of thousands of times is no joke. That kind of devotion is absolutely insane and incredible at the same time. I can really imagine Lu Kuang doing it though, and I totally love the idea. I wanted it to be true, but I doubt it. It's most likely just character design, and I have a different theory about Lu Kuang's actual powers anyway. I guess I'll talk about that in another video. So please subscribe to be notified once it's ready, alright? Thanks! Anyway, going back to the number of times Lu Kuang had tried to save Teng Xiaoxi so far, my guess is three times at least. So it's like, this is the original Teng Xiaoxi, and then this is the second one, then a third one, and the fourth one is the current one. So a total of four timelines. Maybe these graphics on Lu Kuang's birthday photo are also related to it. 
However, if it really refers to four timelines, it's a little scary if you think about how the number four is translated in Mandarin. It's pronounced as s, which sounds very similar to s, which means debt. I know my pronunciation is terrible, but you see, since these words sound so similar, the number four is considered as something unlucky among the Chinese. And Link Link is from China, so I'm getting goosebumps. I think there are clues on what happened to the Teng Xiaoxiu from other timelines in this scene. It looked like he's in a hospital on this one. Then he seems to be lying down here too. But er, uh, maybe he's dead? Then he has many injuries on this one. This leg injury looks more serious compared to the one he got from season 2. And this is his common gesture when he is confused or frustrated. And this one looked like he hanged himself. And then, I have no idea what he's doing here. And why are there scattered things over here? And what on earth could this one be? It looks familiar though. Well, because of very little information, it's really difficult to tell what had happened during these scenes. I expect season 3 or the Yingdu chapter to explain something about this. So the most we can do for now is to make guesses and interpretations based on just this visual. I have further theories on this and let's start with the least depressing one. So I think this confused Teng Xiaoxu implies that Lu Kuang had tried to tell him about his fate. But it didn't make sense to our boy. So it's similar to what happened to Teng Xiaoxu in the earthquake arc. That must have been one of the reasons why Lu Kuang thinks that telling others about the upcoming earthquake will be pointless. And he knew that well, based on experience. While these injuries imply he got hit by something, hopefully not Trokun, or he fell down from somewhere that is not as high as top of a building. There is no way he would have gotten away with just injuries if it's from that high. So my guess is that he got those injuries from a train accident? Well, those train tracks and tunnels and platforms from the opening teams have to mean something. And then these scenes in the second opening team might have meant that he did fall from the top of a building or somewhere really high. Or maybe he had drowned and he didn't survive. Maybe these Teng Xiaoshers are related to those, and I suspect murder, because he might have been pushed down, or was forced to fall down. Now this is the most heartbreaking one. I never would have thought of it possible if I didn't see this one. What he said in episode 1 is apparently something he will really do. I don't think he will really get kicked out of the house while Chao Ling is around, but if she was not able to help him for whatever reason, then oh my god, he really did it. If it's not related to his house, then he might have harmed himself due to depression. The Teng Xiaoxu that we know had both Tiao Ling and Lu Kuang by his side. But what could have happened to a Teng Xiaoxu without them? Well, it's most likely a Teng Xiaoxu who terribly misses his parents, who is isolated, who is all alone, and who is extremely lonely. I cannot imagine Tiao Ling ever leaving him, but it might have been in a situation that is out of her control. Like, probably she was also possessed in the other timeline. But how could Teng Xiaoxu have been alone if Lu Kuang had been going back in time to save him? 
Well, remember what I said earlier about Lu Kuang blaming himself on what happened to Tsung Xiaoxie? So I think one of the things which Lu Kuang tried in order to save him is by not meeting Tsung Xiaoxie at all. He may have concluded that Tsung Xiaoxie will be safe if they did not meet in the first place. And I'm not the only one who thought of that. The idea of Lu Kuang distancing himself to protect Tung Xiaoxiu from the shadows while Tung Xiaoxiu is feeling miserable for living the life without a friend like Lu Kuang. <laughs> My heart hurts. I know I thought of that, but I sincerely hope it didn't happen. But if ever it did, well, Lu Kuang must have realized that was a bad idea, which is why he is now even living together at the same house with Tung Xiaoxiu in the current timeline. Besides, it should be easier to keep watch if he is just close by, right? However, I'm afraid that Lu Kuang might have done the opposite, the extreme opposite. Yes, I meant Lu Kuang might have locked him up. Some fans might like the idea of a Yandere Lu Kuang, though. <laughs> well, if ever it did happen, I can imagine Tseng Xiaoxiu being suffocated from that. So, nah, forget it. I don't think Lu Kuang will do such a thing anyway. We cannot make him someone toxic now, can we? All right. I hope the stuff that I have been saying didn't make you more confused. <laughs> Actually, I won't be surprised if the theories which I had shared in this video turn out to be wrong. Well, they are presently only theories after all. We will only find out what really happened once the third season or the Yingdu chapter starts explaining things. So in the future, I might even end up laughing at myself for overthinking. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I actually kind of wish that some of the things I mentioned are wrong. Because if the extremely depressing ones turn out to be true, then I'm not sure how I'll recover. But anyway, so how about you? What do you think about the things I mentioned in this video? What are your theories about the tragedies which happened to Tung Xiaoxiu? It will be great if you can share them in the comments section. Also, if you had enjoyed this video somehow, I would appreciate it if you click the like button. That always motivates me to work on other link click related videos. Speaking of which, this video is actually just the first part of another video series. Now that we have covered the topic of how Tung Xiaoxiu died, then the next will be about how Lu Kuang is going to save him, right? Would Link Link have a sad ending or a happy ending? It will be wonderful if you can share your ideas on that in the comment section too. I'll consider featuring them in the next part of this video series. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Take care!